Apparently that would be the chief's office. Well, it says you can't record beyond the lobby, so our plan is to stay here in the lobby. Is this lobby as well? I can't tell. For information, it's the utility window. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll go look for the utility window. Oh yeah, this is part of the lobby because there's the water fountain and the and the restrooms. Hey, okay. restrooms. Hello. This doesn't look there's secure. This is the fiscal office right here. and oh, tax administrator. Okay. Apparently, this is the lobby right here. Oh, okay. Well, the sign said come in here for information. So yeah. here, hold this. I'm gonna go uh, see about some complaint forms and okay. uh, open no, records request. He said he'd been in the hallway. For the time. I, we were just informed. Yeah, we, okay. we as soon as we heard, so, we came back here. No cameras because no. we didn't see any. Saying that said this okay. was just the lobby. Yeah, I didn't know where the lobby started and stopped. But yeah, you, you can go over there real quick. <laughs> What's your ID say? It says press. Four. It doesn't matter. I'm here to go speak with the information lady. Excuse me. Thank you. How you doing today? No videotaping down the hallway. I'm not in the hallway. You're pointing the cameras down the hallway. Hmm? Close the door. Turn the video cameras off. Don't do that, sir. That's for my protection and yours as well. I'm in a public place. I'm allowed to be here, correct? This spot where I'm standing, I'm allowed to be? I'll actually get out of the way of the door for you. No videotaping beyond the lobby. I'm not beyond this the lobby. Is the lobby. And I'm no not beyond it. Videotaping down that way. I'm not beyond it. I'm not videotaping beyond the lobby. You can't trespass my eyes, sir. Can't happen. Are you uh, are you the chief, sir? Yes. Oh. Oh, just the man we were hoping to talk to. Good. Um, we're investigative journalists, and uh, recently know. one of our guys was out here uh, two days ago, Monday, I believe it was, and he was violently accosted. In this lobby? No, he wasn't violently accosted. I saw the video and yes, he was, sir. No, he wasn't. May I get a couple of complaint forms and some open records requests, please? Mm hmm? I need complaint forms and I need open records requests. Please. This is Chief. What's your name, sir? Finley. F -I -N -L -E -Y. Finley? F-I-N-L-E-Y. Okay, thank you. Step out of the way of the door. Is the mayor in, in right now? No, he's not. I'd like to schedule a meeting with him as well, then. As would I. So is that how you treat everybody who walks in the door with the camera? Mm -hmm. The way you treated him, is that how you treat everybody? We're not videotaping inside our building. Well, it says no video past the lobby. I've been clearly Go told ahead. this is the lobby. This is the lobby. Yeah. You're videotaping down the hallway. Here, I'll step aside. Yeah. 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 I'd like to see there. Reference to the guys from the other day are back there. That's for them. I'm out with them. Uh, why don't you start another unit down here? Mm, why do you need another unit for people taking pictures? Obeying the law and using a protective act by the Constitution. Yeah, man, all we need is some open uh, and some open re records requests. That's what we need. No, we're not. By the way, you are being streamed live to the internet. Everything is going straight to, to YouTube. And we have, I've got over 100 people watching right now. <coughs> I'm sorry? Inside the police department is to be recorded by. Oh, take your hands off his gear, please. You're not allowed to touch me, sir. You're recording inside my office. You're not recording inside my Pull your blinds. Office. You don't want us to see in there? there Pull your blinds. blinds. Well, there buy some. Use our tax dollars to buy you. some. You cannot that, it's not my yeah, fault. This has already been ruled in the Supreme Court. You cannot trespass the eye. That sign clearly says no video beyond the lobby. We are in the lobby. No, this sign right, right here. Beyond anything in the lobby. As long as we don't and we're not beyond it. We're completely within our rights to do so. So, I get paperwork that I've requested several times now. Can you fetch those for me, please, public servant? Thank you. Do not point that camera in here. Neither one of you. <laughs> That's an unlawful order. I, won't, I will not follow that order. Make sure we're out of the way so we're not blocking any doorways. Let's step back out onto uh, the sidewalk. Okay. Get some pictures of the outside. Here comes a unit right now. Uh, canine unit. Uh, nine nine unit nine nine. Well, guys. This is the front of the building. And we are at Shawnee, and I'm not sure what this street is here. I'll go down here and get a look so we can see 
exactly what intersection we're at. It says uh, Main, East Main and Shawnee Avenue at the 24 East Main Street South Zanesville Municipal and Safety Facility. It is at Main and Shawnee, just so you know the intersection. Main and Shawnee. Yes, South Zanesville PD, Florida Hillbilly. If I'm not getting back with my with the chats in here, please forgive me. Kind of goes by a little fast. And with my sunglasses down, I actually cannot even see my screen. It's on video. <laughs> Well, the chief explained that we're not allowed to even video through uh, the windows, and we told him that's already been explained by the Supreme Court. And yes, sir, we are. Um, maybe I'll definitely <coughs> see you, bud. Eric Finn. Shawnee, meet uh, uh, Metal Shell. What's up, Red East Red Main Red and Shawnee. Guys. Yeah. That is S H A W N E E. S H W N E E. He has yet to uh, come back with my complaint forms. What's up, Judy Smith? Good to see you, girl. Chief Wilford Brimley. Yeah. <laughs> Did they call him Wilford Brimley? Ah, ah, that's good. Well, maybe we step out here until he returns with our paperwork, and then we'll go back inside. <coughs> Thanks, Red River. Uh, we also plan on scheduling a meeting with the mayor. What's up, John Powderface, Boomer, Big Nick, Angie Scipio, hey, uh, Aggie. Thank you for uh, the donations to myself and DLW the other day. What's up, Ms. Constitutional? Hey, just a quick thought. We should Thank you, Florida Hill Billy. Good job. We should hook uh, up with one of these badass auditors to make uh, super constitutional super days. Just an idea. Freedom for my club, really? Well, we're here addressing them. And there's the sign that the chief said no filming beyond the lobby and I kept telling him I'm not beyond the lobby I am in the lobby he's like well you're filming past the lobby I was like so can't trust past my eyes you know there's the map Yep, this is why we always live stream. A map of the Zanesville area. Bulletin board on this side with all the, I don't know, the, well, that looks like patrol districts or something for some, for the oh, officers. Sorry, this is constitutional. I wasn't, uh, wasn't trying to do anything to, to upset you. I just thought it was fun. I could go. South Zanesville facility. Dedicated in the year 2000. Jim Purdue. He's in there making phone calls right now, asking if we're allowed to be doing this. Hopefully his superiors understand the law better than he does. I've yet to see a thin blue flag though. Yeah, that's a good thing. Not outside, or answer step side, let me get this memorial or whatever. Lutz died in the line of duty in the early morning of July 12, 94. Mike was shot while investigating a burglary in progress in the village of South Zanesville. Well, that's a, that's a sad story. So I hate to see I hate to see an officer getting shot in line of duty. That's that's not a good thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sounds like he's hanging up with somebody, so I'm going to turn back around and what's up, OG 2.0? Hi, everybody. So it looks like he's returning us some paperwork. Okay. Very good. Hey, don't chief. 
as your public records request and the complaint form for our law director. If you, I first complaint that I get that you're interfering with anything down there. We don't need your advice. Listen sir. to me. No, sir. I'm just no, telling sir. you I what's going to happen. I don't need your advice. I'm a grown-ass man. Well, I'm I telling you what's going to happen. Hey, I made it for 48 I years. I don't need your advice. I'm not to be. And sir, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Please, hey, do not I'm me. telling you hey, what's going to happen. Hey, easy, easy. Back up a little bit, boss. Back up a little bit. I'd be happy to. Now we've exposed you for who you really are. Now, your borderline disorderly conduct, which I can't arrest The corruption in this town is running rampant. Wow, God. And we will be addressing this. Wow. We will be getting our attorneys. Seems like, uh, wow. Seems like the Midwest Tree Project needs to come down here and force, guys. What do you think? Oh, we just got tossed out by the chief. What a piece of work that chump is. You guys, uh, hey, you guys got a minute? I got some guys over here cheering us on. I'll go, go talk to them real quick. Yeah, shit's about to hit the fan, I agree. How you guys doing today? We, uh, we're with the press, and we like to go out, and uh, when we hear about uh, bad cops, we like to go expose them. Hell yeah! And that's what we did. If you don't mind, I'll put you on. You'll be on YouTube by, well, actually, you'll be on YouTube since oh, I I'm cool now, man. <laughs> okay. Um, I appreciate it, <laughs> you, you, you live in the area? No, oh, I live in Doug Falls. Ah, I don't blame I you, I don't blame you for that. I street, man. And, uh, I used to live right across the street. Yeah, did you ever have any bad run-ins with the Zanesville PD, South Zanesville PD? Ah, uh, the uh, white ones. The white, uh, what is that, what are they, uh, South Zanesville? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, man. Yeah, they, uh, well, we just got run out of there Beck, by the chief. you remember Beck, don't you? Beck? Uh, I'm not from here. I'm from up, up a little further north. Oh, yeah, is, is he the one that was is in 20, for 20 years? I was reading articles on him. I yeah, uh, I did hear South Zanesville and Zanesville were uh, corrupt with uh, drug pushing cops, uh, hookers, uh, the, right up to the chief too, man. It was it was something. I remember he used to get out in fireworks for younger. Yeah, so. So yeah, um, actually we're part of a uh, investigative journalist organization called the Midwest Truth Project. I sent one of my guys down here because I heard that there was we problems. Heard it. We heard it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He came in and uh, it's a constitutionally protected activity. Absolutely. There's Chief. To do so. There's Chief Bully. Chief Bully right there going back inside like a coward. Shoved him up in the corner. Was like he was like, get out of here. He has him shoved into a corner, going, yeah. get out of here. He's yeah. like, well, if you get off of me, I would. Yeah, he tried to put his hands on me. I'm like, whoa, 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 back the hell off right now. You can't touch me. The hell do you think you're doing? See, when people know their rights, they can stand up to the bullies like that. Oh, yeah, you're allowed to record him. Fuck yeah, you are. Yep. And fuck him for thinking otherwise. Hey, there goes his backup, uh, Unit 99. Ohio, Ohio Guardian. Hey, Unit 99. Right now. What do you feel about the way the chief police chief, chief just treated us? You have no opinion on it? No? Do you break the constitutional laws as well? There goes Unit 99. He's a K-9 unit. The chief called him in for backup. <clears throat> and there he goes. Running from a camera. Advice. I know where I'm allowed to be and where I'm not allowed to be. So, yeah, guys, let's uh, let's take a short walk. Go around the building. Yeah, let's uh, let's go all the way around the building. Let's go this way. Get cruisers. And yeah, personal vehicle tags. Yeah, just about everything you guys can think of. No, that's stick to the fishing. stick to the crosswalks, though. We don't want to piss them off too bad. I don't care about pissing them off. Public sidewalk over here. Okay. I would I'll stay close. I would suggest we stay up on clearly marked public property. If you see something, say something. 
Look at that, right there. If you see something, say something. I'm tempted to go in there and tell him I just witnessed a crime. sign there that says no recording beyond the lobby there's another lobby right here another sign that says no filming beyond it yep I left the building Absolutely. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Golf Lima Echo four zero three one. Foxtrot, Whiskey Foxtrot, 1549. Uh, that's insurance agency. These vehicles here are probably theirs. Yeah, those are Kokonis vans parked back there. Looks like public parking to me. And there's their massive radio, radio tower. Oh, my little Woody. Um, this past Monday, a big rush truth. Uh, project member was out here on assignment and uh, yeah long story short um, he was taking pictures inside the lobby the same lobby that we were in and the uh, the chief pushed him up in the corner we <laughs> searched him and put hands on him to get him out of the lobby so we came back to address it DC8 just said I just talked to the I just called there talked to the chief told him to de-escalate and calm down. He said, I'm going to terminate this phone call. Yeah, guys, if uh, if you if you want to um, seek redress from your government, this is the, the St. Saintsville Police Department. And was that Shelly? News Now Sweden. Thanks for coming and joining. Uh, BLW, what was that chief's name again? I caught it on video, but I can't recall it. Well, maybe we hang out by the doors long enough, he'll come back out and we'll get it again. I highly doubt he'll be answering any questions. This would be the uh, south side of the building. In the back, the parking lot. You see there's a railroad track over there. That's definitely somewhere you can walk. There's an alley. This to me looks like a public parking lot because there's an insurance agency with people parked in it. There's this broken down limo. 
and a bunch of Kekonis vehicles parked back here. Kekonis furniture, uh, actually quite a good place to buy furniture. Uh, those were the gentlemen we were speaking to a little bit earlier, um, across the street from the from the courthouse or the police station. There's the alleyway, all the way down through there. There's an alley, so alley dumps into this parking lot. the south side of their building I was thinking about going up through there but that could technically they could say I was on their property so I don't want to do that all right where'd OG go Main Street, South hey, Sainsville, got a, uh, Municipal and Midwest Safety Facility. Set up. It's Indiana News and Information. Uh, get a hold of him, and um, yeah, he'll uh, he'll meet with you, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to get to go. Get testy on the phone lines. <laughs> Gee, go figure. You're right, you're right. Back on the public sidewalk. Fire department, the true heroes in the building. My, uh, my theory on, on public servants is people that want to do public service in any form um, if they want to be a police officer, uh, they have to have a certain, their, well, let's just say their moral compass has to point a certain direction. And people, I've heard a lot of people say, well, I tried out to be a, a police officer, but, you know, I, I, just, I just didn't jive with it. It was like oil and water with my personality, so I became a firefighter. Um, to me, firefighters have... Firefighters have a moral compass, and therefore they they personally can't be a cop because of that moral compass that they have. So, Teresa R. Hey, we are in South Zanesville, Ohio. I'm sorry if I'm just now getting back to you. Um, <coughs> uh, Teresa R. We are in South Zanesville. One of our one of our auditors got hemmed up here the other day. The chief accosted him, pushed him in the corner, and was screaming at him to get out. And we saw a little bit of it today. Uh, when you rewatch it, you'll see the. Uh, right, let me flip this around here. You'll see that the chief gets like within two or three inches. Now oh, it's not responding now. But I'll go to this camera. So the chief, it's on camera. Uh, the chief pushed. OG did push him, but he was tried to push. He was he was right here in his face, screaming at him in his face. And then tried to snatch the paperwork that I had just requested. Yeah, and then tried to grab the paperwork back. So, um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, so I'm gonna keep my cam running till we get back to the till we get back to the vehicle, which is I don't know three or four blocks away. Parked outside of their venue. Yeah, we parked outside of outside of their their venue. Ah, 
there we go. All right. Like my, my live stream fit, uh, seized up a little bit. Oh, it's not that one yet. Okay, there, I'm back. Um, anyway, where did I leave off? Uh, I was talking to Teresa uh, R. Uh, the chief got within... Uh, he got so close to, to OG that I was like, hey, 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 man, back off a little bit. And, uh, and uh, he was raising his voice and basically... Ah, uh, doing what they normally do, being bullies, treating us as second-class citizens. He was shaking with rage. Could you oh, hear him oh. breathing? The, the, you could tell that he was just burned up inside. He, he wanted to put hands on us so bad. This is us. And, uh, yeah, it was interesting. But, uh, we were out here for, um, uh, BLW. He came in the other day, on Monday, I believe it was. And the chief literally shoved him in the corner of the of the room. He illegally searched him. Took his took his wallet, took his ID. Uh, I forced forcibly ID'd him. So that's why we came back today was to find out why. And then literally pushed him out the door. <coughs> physically removed him. And then, like like OG just said, physically shoved him out the door two or three times, pushing him. So we came to seek redress for that. If you would like to redress the government in any way, you can also do that in uh, many different forums, video, phone calls, emails, you know, however you want to contact South Zanesville, Ohio. <coughs> it's not Zanesville, Ohio. It is South Zanesville, Ohio. A little municipality that is uh, glommed onto the side of, of uh, uh, Zanesville, Ohio, which is the, the, the actual city proper. Oh. Hey, Joe Nut. Cops who get that mad end up hurting and killing innocent people. Even I don't want to give one away. I'm trying to get back to it. Even hard-headed. I, I, my screen's cracked. I can't quite see what you're saying. But uh, even hard-headed chief of police, yeah, I agree with that. Doesn't look like we have a tail. Let me spin back around and take a look down the road. Yeah, I agree. That chief is a definite nutcase. Uh, somebody called him Chief Wilford Brimley. He looked just like Wilford Brimley too, man. If, if Brimley had a twin. Yeah, and his twin did methamphetamine and steroids. Thanks, Joe. Yes, he did. He, uh, he escalated extremely quick. Um, first thing he said was, you can't film in here. You're not allowed to film past the lobby. And we were standing in the lobby, and I, I kind of looked down. I was like, well, I'm in the lobby. I'm not filming. I'm not past the lobby. The sign specifically says, no filming beyond the lobby. So I wasn't filming beyond the lobby. I followed the rules to the letter to the letter. I stood right at the edge of the door. And then he tried telling us that we're not allowed to film. Yeah, they said we're not allowed to aim our cameras down the hallway because that's beyond the lobby. Like, dude, you can't trespass our eyes. You know. He, he said, he said, you don't film in my office. I said, draw your blinds. He said, we don't have blinds. I said, go use my tax dollars and buy yourself some. That ain't my problem. So, yeah, it was interesting. We'll, uh, We'll go home, we'll, we'll post these online and see if we can't uh, get a few things changed. Also, the mayor just happened to be here when BLW was here. <coughs> One of the few days I'm sure he actually shows up to work. And uh, walked through the lobby, and I don't know the whole situation. I haven't seen the video. It hasn't been published yet. But apparently, but apparently, the mayor walked by and he's like, hey, BLW's like, hey. He asked the mayor a question, he goes, his reply was something about, well, you're just a crackhead or something like that. He called the, yeah, he, he called one of our guys a crackhead after like meeting him for like three seconds. Yeah, BLW was simply trying to ask the mayor to, you know, call his dog off. Right. And the mayor's like, oh, you're a crackhead. You're a crackhead. So away. crackheads don't have rights? I mean, they may be crackheads, but they still have rights, they're human. Yeah, one person's behavior doesn't, uh, doesn't negate another's. That's true. So. So anyway, that was interesting. That was fun. Yeah, a little bit. You, you could tell Chief. 
Chief Brimley wanted to wanted to punch you. He wanted to stuff you. Oh yeah. He, he wanted to cuff you and that. stuff you. Because I called him a public servant. So how about you fetch those papers I requested, servant? Yeah. He did not like that. They do not like that. Hey, rising sun. What's up, RSM? Yes, that, yes, Cyrix. That's where uh, BLW got hemmed up. Well, not necessarily hemmed up, but shoved around, forcibly ID'd, shoved out the door, Perfect. and trespassed? Yes. They did, they did trespass him? Yep. Okay, OG said they did trespass him, so. Yeah, <laughs> Mrs. Constitutional. She's like, oh, he wanted to stuff him, all right. <laughs> All right, we've made the three plus block journey back to our vehicle. We're almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this feed. <coughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Uh, rising sun, let me see what you just said here. I called, I was asked what about my rights what about my rights? Are you kidding? Yeah, I know. They're like, what are those? What What are rights? We just do whatever the fuck we want around here, apparently. So, you know, the the K9 unit that came in as backup, he ordered a, a unit to come in to back him up because obviously he can't handle somebody with a camera. <coughs> you want to do BMV? It's just one person with a camera. You want to do BMV? Still murky on that. I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we are back at the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and kill this feed. If you guys have any questions, I'm sure we'll be doing a, a live feed here in the next couple days to discuss this. Uh, think up some good questions and call us, and uh, we will uh, we will address them. So we are in South Zanesville, Ohio, just on the south side of Zanesville proper. It is July 11th. I believe it's the 11th of July at approximately noon. Oh, I'm sorry, 12.55 by my clock. So this is uh, Buckeye in the Sky News, signing off. Y'all have a good day and God bless America. This is constitutional, you got jokes too. Good, bring them on. Bring on the jokes. That chief was the biggest joke I saw today. I stayed live almost the whole time. I'm sure it's going to be pixelated, but.